Hello everyone, this is John from Vulgar Kitten Studios, and welcome back to another installment in my mobile development series. Um, I'm going to be talking about web development today, and I do apologize, I actually had started this recording earlier, but the footage got corrupted, so I need to re-record it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and open up Termux, and I will show you what you're going to need. So we're going to start out with a PKG install. And we're going to need Apache 2, um, MariaDB, and what MariaDB is, is just a MySQL uh, database. Um, MariaDB is just a, a, a fork that is uh, more up to date and a little bit better. So uh, we'll install that package. And we'll also need PHP, and we'll need PHP Apache. Now, I actually already have all of these installed, so I'm not going to install them. Uh, just to show you that they are installed on my phone, I'm going to go ahead and click Enter. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there they are. And uh, what we need to do now is we need to install a little application from the Play Store. Um, so this is a uh, VPN virtual host, or this is a VPN that we're going to be using to uh, create uh, to manipulate our host file to uh, use virtual hosts. So um, It's called HostGo, and you can install it without root. I already have it installed. And this is the first time I've opened it, so this is a good thing. I'm going to go ahead and install um, some default host stuff. No host record found, so we're going to go ahead and download a host file. Download and apply. And this is going to give us a whole lot of different, um, a, a whole lot of different IPs and stuff. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and add an IP address or add an entry. So 127.0.0.1, which is the loopback address um, for your device. And I'm just going to put in VKS so I can. Uh, so I can get this all set up and everything with my uh, personal Vulgar Kitten Studios project. So now that I have that entry in there, uh, oops, uh, we need to go ahead and start it up. Okay. And now what we need to do is we need to edit some configurations in Apache. So we're going to go ahead and nano. Uh, actually, let's just use the home and then go USR. Uh, USR Etsy. Apache. Or Etsy. Yeah. Apache 2 httpd.conf alright so this is the configuration file for Apache and nano gives you some nice little syntax highlighting for this file as well so you can go through here and you can see where um, all of the stuff is but anyway we're gonna use nano and search for the hosts You're going to want to go ahead and load this module. So we'll uncomment that line. And we'll do it again. Well, it looks like that's the only one there. But uh, we do need to go all the way through this file to 
make sure that we get all of the proper modules loaded. So I'm going to go ahead and just like read it. Um, And there's a session module down there. Hopefully that's installed. We also want to have the rewrite module on. We need to include the vhost comp file and uh, it doesn't look like we have any PHP 7 stuff set up here so we're going to go ahead and go to Google Chrome and Termux Apache Um, PHP, PHP seven, HTTP, D dot conf. We'll go ahead and copy these in. Make sure that we get all of the syntax proper because Apache is very finicky about that. We want to make sure that we have that on the same line. And we want to make sure that we load in our PHP files. So, just if you want to type it, I'm going to make sure that I display everything. Lib PHP 7, so. All right. So. That should be good for our httpd.conf. Uh, but now we need to actually configure some uh, a, a virtual host. So uh, that is actually located. Um, let's see. Now, and we'll do the same path as before. Actually, I can just hit up in the console and replace this file. Go into extra. HTTPD vhosts.com 
And in here is where we actually create our virtual hosts. Now for the website that I'm going to be using uh, to test, I have that in a folder in the root of my SD card or in the root of my internal storage under a www file or www and a uh, folder called VKS and the public uh, folder is where I want to direct my document root. So within Termux I'm going to have to create a new rule for all IPs on port 8080 and server name is going to be PKS. Um, I don't remember all of the rules, so let me go ahead and pull up a reference. Okay, so for the document root, we'll be document root is going to be SD card. www vks public actually let me go ahead and copy this stuff and exit without saving because there are locations for log files that I need so you know what I'm just gonna paste this what I've already wrote in here and grab this copy
format it. There we go. All right, so now our error logs and everything, we're just going to name them the same as our website. and the access log make sure common is on the same line and now we can give it some directory rules so what we have to do here is create another node and we'll call that directory and we'll specify the directory which is going to be SD card VKS or www VKS public and we want to close that node off and it's going to be require all granted and allow override all I don't think I did that right. Nope. It's require then all granted. Let me make sure. Allow override all. And that should be enough to get us started. So let's go ahead and try Apache CTL start. We got a syntax error on 142 of All right, let's go ahead and uh, go back into our HTTP config. Uh, HTTPD.conf and the session module that we uncommented. Go ahead and comment that back out. Okay. So now what we can do is we can go into our browser and hopefully we can go to our host file and the port looks like we're loading the page it's definitely directing it to it so uh, I'm just having issues uh, with the website itself so 
yeah, uh, that's how you configure Apache to run virtual hosts and everything uh, so you can develop it on your phone. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.